Hi, my name is Tapio Kramer. I'm the marketing manager of Incron. I'd like to give you a short tool demo to show the integration of IBM Rational Rhapsody with the Incron tool suite, which enables you to perform timing and performance analysis on your system architecture modeled in UML. As an example, I've selected an automated cruise control system for a car. Let's say we have a modern car that shall be able to select the cruise depending on the objects in front of the car, maybe following a slow truck or overtaking and following the fast cars. To be able to define these functions, we have used UML to model the different objects here. One is the radar sensor, which analyzes the images in front. Then we have the radar monitor, which takes the radar image from the front and uh, interprets it to find the objects and calculates the speed of the objects in front. Using these classified objects in front and their speed, we calculate the new cruise, the new speed for the car we want to have. To be able to have a car, we have also a model of the car, a vehicle dynamics model, which is modeled in using Simulink but that shall not be the focus of this demo today. Same is the environmental model, also modeled using Simulink and integrated to Rhapsody, but not in this demo today. And then we have finally the speed filter, which takes the car speed from the vehicle dynamics model and uh, gives this information to our system. Now, wanting to analyze the timing and the performance of this control function, we add it to the Rhapsody system, a profile which is called CronSim profile. The CronSim profile is a profile that enables you to annotate in the UML diagram the necessary information to perform the timing and performance analysis. You annotate the time your functions take, you also annotate on which CPU your function will be calculated and which is concurrently using the CPU load. There are some stereotypes in this um, Cronzim profile, but we do not want to go into detail. Let's have a look at the example. So, first thing that we want to do is that we take these functions that we have in our overall system and we want to allocate them to a CPU which will execute them. In automotive area, very often a CPU is called ECU, Electronic Control Unit. And the functions performed on these ECUs are very often called tasks. That's why we gave this stereotype the name task as well. But it's similar to a process on our other operating systems. We have the radar sensor, the radar monitor, the cruise control, and the speed filter, which shall all be calculated using the CPU in our ECU here. The CPU will also be interrupted by an external interrupt source, which is called COM, because there is a communication port, maybe a CAN bus attached to our ECU, that will interrupt the ECU and perform the interrupt service routine with a higher priority than our four tasks. This is also allocated to the ECU. So, this is one part of the information that you have to give to be able to do the timing analysis. The other part is that you have to define and specify how these functions will be activated and how often they will be activated. So in this case we see that the task radar sensor will be activated every 100 milliseconds to acquire an image of the cars and objects in front of the car. This one will then activate the radar monitor to analyze the acquired image from the radar. And this finally they will trigger the task cruise control to calculate the new speed we want to have for our car. Parallel to this we have a function that will be triggered every 10 milliseconds. This will trigger the interrupt and perform the communication with the communication bus and read in the speed and which will be filtered in the speed filter function. So allocation and activation are things we have to annotate in our UML model. The third thing we want to know is how long will these functions take? How long will they occupy our ECU, our CPU? For this we have added new tags to the tasks here and these tasks define for example the execution time. So the radar sensor function will be executing in 1000 to 5000 milliseconds 
u uh, microseconds in a uniform distribution. So it will not take always exactly one time, it will sometimes take a bit longer, sometimes be a slower. And we defined this to be between 1 and 5 milliseconds or 1000 and 5000 microseconds. The function is preemptible um, and it has a priority of 20. Similar thing we've done to the radar monitor, cruise control, speed filter and interrupt routine here. Now we have annotated the UML model with all necessary information to perform a simulation of the timing and uh, performance of the system. To be able to do this, we generate the code, which is actually the code we have, have as a Cronsim project file. It's an XML project file with some additional C code files. I start the generation of the C code and the XML project file and this is performed very fast as you see down here. It's um, been generated with no errors and no warnings. Let's have a look at the generated project. Now we see here the same functions and the same tasks as we specified in our, in our UML model with the annotated timing information. So we see again our ECU here, we see our cruise control, radar monitor, radar sensor and speed filter tasks and we see the common task which is actually specified to be an interrupt service routine. And we also see that we have a scheduler with the interrupt service routine and a higher priority scheduler scheduling the tasks on our system. And we see here again the priorities, here our 20, milli uh, 20 priority of 20 for the radar sensor. And here are the additional C code files specifying maybe a detailed behavior. The system is stimulated as we've modeled in the UML model and we see here just a different uh, notation of this which was transferred to our project file where we see that the stimuli here come over time every 100 milliseconds the red one for the radar sensor and every 10 milliseconds the message from the comment interface. Now if we look at the simulation of this system, we can see in the state diagram the process that we've defined in the UML model before. We see the speed filter and the COM interrupt, we see the cruise control, radar monitor and the radar sensor. We see on the x-axis the time and over the y-axis the states of the processes which can be suspended, waiting, ready and running. Let's start the simulation. We see the simulation running here through the system, through the screen and showing us when the system processes are active or inactive. I can decouple the display and let the, system, the simulation run in the background way faster and let's have a look at what we can see. We see here that the radar sensor uh, is acquiring an image and passes this to the radar monitor which does the analysis of the objects in front. So the object classification takes a certain time depending on the number of objects. And then we have the cruise control function that is executed here. In parallel to this there comes the COM interrupt from the communication port which will trigger the execution of the speed filter function which sometimes as we can see here is delayed because of the function that is executed with the higher priority which is the radar sensor function. I can stop the simulation in the background. What can we see? We can see that, for example, the processes are not active all the time. This can be depicted using the load diagram. We can see that the, sometimes the CPU load is 100% over a certain time, but we have also gaps in the CPU load like this. This is actually smoothed by 5 milliseconds, just to know. Now we see that the execution of the tasks in the task state diagram is not always the same and sometimes it's a bit longer, sometimes it's a bit shorter. We've put some requirements to this to analyze this more statistically. So for example, we have the um, response time from the radar monitor execution budget. And we see that 5.1% of the executions are fail the requirement, 49.9% uh, are successful and some of them are critical. Let's have a look at them. If I click here on the list, I get the list of all times, point in time where the um, response time is too long. So let's have a look here. We see that it is highlighted in red. So the radar monitor took way longer than we specified it to answer its uh, analysis of the object. And sometimes if I scroll through here, we can also see that it's yellow, so we can also define a warning level. We can have a look at this also in histogram taking 
the histogram for exactly this requirement, for example, which would be the execution time budget and give it an update and we see here how the execution time varies over time. This can also be summarized in a report. We have the ability to generate an HTML report and that's what I'm going to do. So we are analyzing the systems, the simulation results over time here and we will get an HTML report with all diagrams that we're looking for. So we see here the CronSim report. It has uh, statistics of, about the CPU. In this case it's only one CPU, but it could also be a, a statistics about all CPUs that you've modeled and the bus systems. And we can see, for example, the average load over time and here averaged over uh, 100 milliseconds. It has an average load from 64.25%. Uh, then we can get details about every process. So we see here, for example, for the radar monitor process, it has been activated 2,200 times. And here, were the st here are the statistics about the execution. We can also get some details about this. So we can see here all the bits and pieces about the execution of this function. And we can see here the distribution of uh, the start to start of that function, for example. And we, as I said, we have also some requirements uh, defined. We can have a look at the requirements and we see here, for example, that the cruise control function is jittering over time quite a bit. And if I click on this, this, the image, we can see high uh, enlarged that it sometimes takes up to 170 or 218 milliseconds um, to execute, to be executed the next time. This was a very brief overview about the abilities you have using IBM Rational Rhapsody modeling your system and performing a timing and performance analysis using the CronZim profile and the CronZim tool from the Incron tool suite. Thank you very much.